Jerome Corsi, a well known right winger for a long time, peddles in conspiracy theories, but I already told you he's a right winger. <laughs> and unfortunately, the lunatics on their side have a lot of power and effect. And Corsi did as well. I'll tell you about that in a second, the different elections that he affected. But his books are things like, Where's the birth certificate? <laughs> Who really killed Kennedy? Like, it's all questions. He doesn't know, he's just asking, <laughs> right? And it, which birth certificate? He doesn't even know that. He's just asking, like, well, I don't know what happened. Where's the birth certificate? Okay, uh, maybe it's his own. Maybe he misplaced it. No, so well known conspiracy theorist. And, um, but he works with other people that are connected to, in this case, the president. He, uh, from time to time, uh, talks to and is connected to Roger Stone. And it looks like that connection might have gotten him in some trouble because the news that just came out is that Corsi himself believes. He is about to be indicted by Robert Mueller, the special mm. counsel. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I hope they get to it swiftly. Uh, be worried if they rock your boat with that one. That reference I'll explain in a second. But first, what did he say about it? He said, well, this one's not unclear. Uh, I'm going to be indicted. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're told. I'm fully expecting it. According to NBC News, uh, he said that uh, Mueller's team reached out to him last week and said, um, you might want to get an orange jumpsuit ready. So that indictment apparently is coming. And I love his excuse. So he gives you a sense of what they're going after. Uh, but he said, when they have your emails and phone records, they're very good at the perjury trap. No, no, that means when they have your emails and phone records, they know what you said. <laughs> that's what it means. Now, whether you committed perjury, well, that's up to you, brother. Okay, there ain't no trap in getting your documents and your phone records. That's you on the phone, that's your emails, right? So they can't make you lie ahead of time and then get your emails and then set a trap. No, they only charge you with perjury if you're clearly lying on the record based on the documents. So it ain't no trap, man. It's it's it is what it is. It appears. Oh, having a Clinton opponent go to prison for perjury. Mm. Okay, in that case, I mean Bill Clinton, because the guys who argued, oh my God, perjury is the most important thing. <laughs> Bill Clinton should be impeached, and I don't know, maybe other things lock them up, lock them up. Oh well, somebody's getting locked up tonight. <laughs> okay. Not gonna happen overnight, obviously. Uh, now, might that mean that they also have Roger Stone? Interesting. So uh, Roger Stone couldn't help himself. This is a, a hatchet man for the Republicans. He's been a hatchet man for a long time and, and has also known Donald Trump for a long time. They have a, a deep relationship going back. And, uh, and Stone uh, bragged about what was coming out in WikiLeaks before it came out. Because that's what a smart person would do, See, right? That, that's what a really smart person would do. See, that he's an egomaniac and he mm -hmm. can't help himself. He wanted to brag, Oh, I know, I know we're about to do a dirty trick. The problem is, now that you got a special counsel, he goes, yeah, oh, that was in public. We all saw it, <laughs> okay. Now, by the way, Roger Stone also bragged right before Al Franken news came out uh, that he knew about that too. He said it's you know uh, Al Franken's turn in the barrel and so when there is a Republican right wing smear job that is going to be launched, Roger Stone usually knows about it ahead of time. Now he has not been charged yet. We don't know anything about whether he's going to be indicted or not. But his close ally Jerome Corsi, who we might have worked with on this particular issue on, on whether they knew ahead of time what WikiLeaks had, uh, Corsi is going to be charged. Uh, by the way, so the reference that I was making earlier, Corsi in 2004, uh, did another book called Swift uh, Unfit for Command Swift Boat uh, Veteran for Veterans Speak Out Against John Kerry. So he's the guy who launched the Swift Boat controversy against John Kerry. That was also a conspiracy theory, also not true, and unfortunately, also effective. And so, is there any left wing lunatics in the country? Of course there are, right? And but they are a million miles away from power. Uh, they're like random dudes walking in the streets, uh, mumbling to themselves, right? The right wing takes those guys and then injects them into uh, the middle of presidential campaigns. And it works, it works, because honestly, I think it's because the mainstream media are suckers and they treat the lies and truth as equals. And they go, well, he said, she said. Jerome Corsi made up a giant lie about how John Kerry was, 
uh, did not serve honorably in Vietnam, although he's got the medals to prove it. And every single person who served with him said he was absolutely heroic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the guy he was running as George Bush ran from Vietnam, ran for his life, said he spent a lot of time at the dentist's office while in Vietnam. Okay, so but but the media is like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. The Republicans said it. I have to call it even, and so it helped to end John Kerry. As chances in that race, and so they did it again in the case of Trump versus Hillary Clinton, and and doing dirty tricks in politics is not illegal, perjury is illegal, and so it appears that's what they got him on, and we'll see when that indictment comes down, and I hope it's a harbinger of things to come, if it's accurate. Oh, if Roger Stone were next, that'd be very mm. nice. I would enjoy that. I would well, enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> All I gotta say about that is uh, that the Mueller's team should turn over every stone to see what they got. Mm. Okay, <laughs> and if they turn him over, they'll see his Nixon, Nixon tattoo. Gross. Okay. It's oh my God, he he has a Nixon tramp stamp. I don't really have much to say about this story other than right wing lunatics have a much easier time publishing anything. Oh, right. I know why. <laughs> uh, no, Regnery Publishing uh, published uh, Unfit for Command. Uh, they are right wing. Uh, publication, uh, publishing house, and they don't care. So that's the difference between the left wing and the right wing. Or they do care. They're like, oh, it's lies. Fantastic. We'll do it, and it doesn't matter if we make money off of it because we got right wing billionaires who fund it, and they'll just go buy the first stack of the uh, the books. That's why they have they get into the New York Times bestseller list, giving an appearance of popularity when in fact they're. Completely unpopular, but it gives the mainstream media a hook. They go, well, it's a bestseller, what can I do? I had to cover it and I had to call it even. What, do you want me to actually do my job and report on things and figure out if it's true or not true? No, 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 I'll call it even the whole campaign. And after the campaign, when I'll say it's not political, I'll say it was all lies. No, 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 holding it until after the campaign is political. So anyway, yeah, they do it as a matter of course. If you see a conservative book on the New York Times bestseller list, a great percentage of the time, it's a total fraud. Not all the time, Bill O'Reilly's books are actually popular. We call it as it is, and, and, and but there's been a great number of scandals with these obscure people popping out, and all of a sudden they're selling like hotcakes. No, they're not. Some right wing billionaire who wants to put that propaganda into the mainstream media bloodstream. And he, they do it like a charm every single time. And every single time the media falls for it like suckers because they're afraid they're gonna be called the liberal media, which is also part of the trick. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.